My name is Hans Leon. I have been working for HD8 Healthcare over 15 years. My name is Kelsey Green. I've been with HCA Healthcare for five years. I'm Gerald Matson. i uh, worked for HCA Healthcare for 31 years. My name is Nicole Reza. I've been with the organization for 12 years. One of the things uh, that I'm proud of, I'm Hispanic. I use it as a, as a tool also to help patients that uh, sometimes only speak the same language, English, and, and I'm able to help them. But I also would like to see if I can set an example for other Hispanic, uh, Latinx members that might be starting their careers and, and they, they can feel like they can achieve whatever they want to as long as they, they put their hard work on it. Uh, and every hospital that I've been to, I develop great relationships in my career and I felt always included and I felt that I was part of the team. One way that we can assure people feel included is to sometimes maybe put yourself in their shoes to see what do you think they're going through. Um, ask questions, try to find out where are they coming from, what are they like. Sometimes we assume things and might say something that might hurt other people. I really love being a part of a healthcare executive team and bringing my clinical skill set to the business side. That's why I went back and got my MBA is to help build the bridge between the clinical and the business side of hospital operations to ensure that our patients were always at the center of our decisions. So as a woman in healthcare, one of the challenges I faced in other organizations was that the business side of the house was very male dominant and the opportunities for women to grow and even have exposure into meetings, into different training and leadership organizational development classes was very minimal until you hit a certain threshold and a certain level. Um, when I started here in HGA Healthcare, it was immediate that I was offered a bunch of opportunities to be exposed to senior leadership within the first six months of my um, employment here, which was very unique. I went nine, ten years at another organization not even meeting the CEO or CNO, and I met our company president and all of our group leadership within six months of being here. That alone set a bar of what professional development and what executive presence really meant. That was a term I never heard until I came here, and it definitely set a different standard of what was expected of me. That's where I find that I really start to strive and find the value of a company and where I really start to work with them and, and drive hard to make changes. Uh, so for me, uh, when I introduce myself, a lot of times people will, you know, they'll see a ring on a finger and they'll say, well, who's your wife? And it's always interesting to say, I'm not married to a woman, I'm married to a man. That kind of will sometimes cause someone to, you know, see how far they can put their foot down their mouth or, you know, withdraw and say, oh, I didn't know. You know, there's a lot of assumptions with that. And so it helps me kind of have a base to start with where we can have more of an authentic relationship and discussion about who I am and what I do at work, where I don't have to hide that or I don't bring my whole self to work. I can be my authentic self when I can be open about who I am, not just at work, but even outside of work. It's a great organization where we're continuing to develop and to grow and to learn. So we're not perfect but we're getting better. And I think one of the things that we do within our organization, we do quite well as much as we do within the mission of HCA Healthcare, and is that is to improve the life of individuals that we serve. And that not only includes patients, but our colleagues that we serve. We want you to come to us because we know better how to serve our patients in all aspects of their life and all different individuals in their walks of life. So the LGBTQ plus community to anybody else, it doesn't matter. We're all inclusive and we want to make sure that everybody feels at home with us. We have seen like how important it is to have a really diverse network of people within our organization. We don't want everybody to look the same, to think the same because our patients don't look the same and think the same. And so I think it's just so important that as an organization, we have really put a stake in the ground and said, we're not just going to check the box, but truly we're going to have these diversity programs and they mean something to us. They mean something to our employees, to the patients and everybody that we serve in the communities. The most important thing is getting to know the person. Um, I can often say that there's been times when I felt like people just wanted to get to know me because I am different and they're just maybe wanting to say, hey, I know a person of color, right? And But not really wanting to get to know who I am truly, like just a very superficial high level. And so I would just encourage people as they're looking to be an ally, like really truly get to know the person because before you know that person, you really can't get to the heart of the story, heart of who they are. Not everybody has the same story. My, my position as a 
black woman is going to be very different experience than another black woman, right? And so same for any of our colleague networks. I would just encourage people to get to know that person first, um, and then that will really allow for a safe space for you to truly get to understand other parts of that person. I want to be included because people really truly genuinely know me. They know the value that I bring, they know the skills that I have, they know who I am inside and out, and that's what they want. That's why they want to be my friend, or that's why they want to have me have a seat at the table, because they know who I am. My name is Hans Leon. I'm a proud dad. I'm Hispanic. I love soccer, and I'm a member of the HEA Healthcare family. I'm Kelsey Green. I'm a nurse. I'm a strong, independent woman in a healthcare executive position. I'm a dog mom. I'm a rancher, and I'm proud to be a part of the HJ Healthcare family. I'm Gerald Matson. I'm an avid outdoorsman. I love to bake. I'm gay, and I'm a member of the HJ Healthcare family. My name is Nicole. I am a mom. I am a friend. I am a strong black woman, and I am a member of the HJ Healthcare family.